What is up, everybody? I am your host, War Mothershed, and this is the Growth is Hard podcast, where we break generational cycles, curses, and become the best versions of ourselves possible. Man, when I tell you it has been a roller coaster of some weeks for me, it is insane. Like, life has been a consistent Six Flags event, and I am just now getting back to where I feel like I'm at the top. I'm slowly, like, climbing up, you know, the and I'm just about there not quite there yet but I want to share that with y'all kind of express to you what I've been learning these past couple weeks and then just tell y'all in on what I got coming next so before we get into all that let's hit the intro my soul want to break up the labyrinth I too want to break up the casket I do then they wonder what happened back from the dead I should have said it was killing me I set up boundaries jump with the border and now you're supporting the immigration Cause I've been there when you needed me most Who get you high even when I was low Did it then but I don't do it no more, man Growth is high 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 Growth is always worth it Growth is Growth is Growth is Growth is Man, welcome back. When I say that it has been a roller coaster of some weeks, man, to give y'all a bit of some insight, you know, I've been dealing with this workers' comp case for what feels like four ever absolutely excruciatingly painful just emotionally physically financially especially because i've gotten no type of help from the actual like insurance or company themselves and basically um i'm going through this cleat course right now to secure some employment you know once everything blows over and as i was trying to get some bullets online to make for the the time frame that we had i ended up getting scammed I got scammed of almost a thousand dollars just trying to get some bullets and I was like oh my god like I do not have the money to just be you know throwing a thousand dollars left and right so to just get scammed like that you know I felt very defeated I felt very low and angry and upset and I was just like why why God why is the universe doing me like this you know they always say they give their their toughest battles to their toughest soldiers and I'm like but I didn't ask for this you know I did not need this right now I needed a helping hand I needed help up and I feel like I just got a full leather boot to the face it was hard it was really hard and luckily you know there's a lot of prayer a lot of patience and a lot of you know help through my bank you know we got everything situated it's been reversed everything's good but for those times where I just felt completely helpless, I didn't know what to do. I literally had to remind myself that there's only so much that I can do in this situation. There's only so much that I can actually take control of. And with that, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that I'm okay. Everything that I need to do gets done. And the rest of that, I got to give that to the universe. I got to give that to God and keep doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Because stressing and worrying about everything else that I can't control is not going to do a single thing for me. But also on top of that, there's been some things that I've been learning about people. There's been some things I've been recognizing about those around me, some of the people I've been interacting and most of all, just the time we live in, the kind of people we live with right now, as far as this society in this day and age, you know, it's very not only demanding, it's very me, 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 but it's also a very selfish and self centered time. You know, we've got, you know, legislation being passed based on people's beliefs, even if we don't share them. You know, there's obviously family disputes you know you got siblings family members where you know it's their you know needs and concerns before anything else of course there's work you know you get sick you need time off they're like no we need you here it's a number of different things but i want you to know 
that as long as you are able to remain yourself, remain your true self, you know, there's this movie, The Outsiders. If you can stay golden, those people that are meant to be in your circle, that are meant to be in your life, and that are meant to fill up your cup will prevail. They will show themselves, and you will be in such a better place. I was literally talking with one of my best friends, oh, yeah. and she was saying, you know, it's crazy to know that in therapy we talked about how far I've come today in just a year. Everything has changed in a year. You know, she wasn't feeling good about herself. She didn't know about her future, what was going to happen, and here we are now. We're doing the thing. We're making moves. She's got her BA. She's about to hit her masters. She's over here becoming the version of herself that we talked about a year ago and it seemed impossible it seemed like it was never going to happen for her but i promise you and when i tell you that everything that you want in this life is within reach i mean that and i know life can be unfair obviously you know with what happened to me with what happens to so many other people but the moment that we accept and understand that life was never meant to be fair life was meant to be an experience a place for us to learn and grow it changes everything life is about perspective life is about growing and getting outside of your comfort zone you know comfortability is the killer of growth per se once you get comfortable you don't really want to learn anymore you don't really want to expand outside of what you know what you do routines lifestyles etc comfortability will kill progress Get uncomfortable. Start doing things that you haven't tried yet. Whether it's food, hobbies, activities, making friends, trying new jobs, careers. Just get out there. Try something new. There's one thing, you know, in an interview forever ago, I always loved when ASAP Rocky said, when did we start hating on people for trying? When did it become not cool to try something? And it struck a struck a nerve with me because somebody had to try what we do now that we think is good, that think was cool, that we think is trendy, that it's all these different things. Somebody had to try it initially. So why don't we question those people that are trying those things, but we question those that are around us? Why is that? It doesn't make sense. And if it don't make sense, something's got to change. I can't express to y'all how thankful I am to not have only the love, the support, the people in my life right now, but also the opportunity to be able to share my life experiences with y'all, to be able to share this news with y'all, you know, I've been talking with some people and we're about to get attention on the radio, on the radio, like I am so excited and school's about to pick up. School is now finally paying me to show up. I don't got to pay you. You're paying me to show up. Blessings are raining down. And I want to share that with you because this right here, the same kid that thought college wasn't for him, you know, grades weren't really my forte, wasn't really something I could excel in. I'm doing it. And you can too. There's nothing that can stop you in this world but yourself. Everything is within arm's reach. Reach out and touch it. Get a hold of it. Mold the world around you into what you want it to be. But in order to do that, you have to mold yourself into the world you want it to be. Once again, Thank y'all so much for tuning into the podcast. I am your host, War Mothershed. This is the Growth is Hard podcast. Once again, every Monday at 4 p.m., check in, get some knowledge, get some game, get updated on what's new, whether it's music, life, etc. I can't wait to see y'all next week. Thank you. My soul wanna break up the labyrinth. I too wanna break up the casket. I do, then they wonder what happened. Back from the dead, I should have said it was killing me. I set up boundaries. Chump with the border, and now you're supporting the immigration. Cause I've been there when you needed me most. Who could you hide even when I was low? Did it then, but I don't do it no more, man. 
Growth is high. 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 Growth is always worth it. Growth is Growth is Growth is Growth is Growth is